So this is month two of <clears throat> my endometriosis blog, I guess. I don't know. Journal, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> Today, uh, started my period really late last night. Today, this morning is pretty excruciating. So, just tired and crying and suffering and exhausted. So, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> I just took um, ibuprofen 800 and like 10 milligram Lortab. And we'll see. Usually take like, try to. Yesterday I did so good though. The pain wasn't so bad. Still hurting. <laughs> like pretty bad. But at least it's like just kind of barely taking the edge off just a little bit. My husband came in and was so sweet and just like said a prayer and gave me this a blessing and um probably make coffee and I don't know he's just been cute but I definitely felt a sense of peace um as he prayed for me and I in his in his prayer he <sighs> let me go back like the hardest part right now is that my daughter is almost seven my other one's almost two and the hardest part is that I've been able to hide this from my oldest daughter for like seven years, right? And it's getting to the point now where like I can't hide this and that just, that's hard. And I have a lot of guilt around that. Anyway, my husband came in and he, um, was saying this blessing that he that he gave me um asking God to help me to maybe understand the root and finding out like what's causing like where this is coming from on an emotional level and so that maybe I can help heal that some way and understand that it's endometriosis is a disease and but I felt such a overwhelming feeling of peace and comfort and when he finished and left I had this thought of what would it be like if I used my intention and visualized um kind of like with hypnobirthing <laughs> but like really visualized my body like really flushing out all of that uterine lining and just like instead of it being so painful and cramping and clenching and like being in pain and like tightening up I guess and like holding on to it <clears throat> if I just try to stay really relaxed and like visualized my periods basically and just really allowed myself to be open and release that uterine lining instead of somehow trying to hang on to it um which kind of makes sense a little bit with if there's a fear of letting that go I don't know, I need to investigate it more. And I'm like, just cl like clenching and tightening. Clenching's a bad word, but holding, like being in pain and grasping and like getting all tense and and in pain. Um, but maybe it's not fully allowing my body to flush all the lining out and then some's getting left behind, right? It's endometriosis, all of it is when scar when um uterine lining it's not released all the way 
and flushed out completely. And so our body has to absorb what's left, right? So I'm wondering if somehow I can help my body by having that intention of and visualization of really seeing and allowing myself to fully release and um, like just let go of all that uterine lining every month, right? Um, I'm going to try to work on energetically and with visualization and intention and really try to discover if there's something about maybe expelling and taking in information or um, energies or thoughts or feelings or emotions or just any anything or people whatever anything in my life um that maybe I'm holding on to and also really visualize like cleansing and clearing and releasing that um and allowing my body to shed like it's supposed to so I don't know it's trying as for something so um I'll let you all know how it goes. We'll see if it helps at all. Um, but my medicine's kicked in, so I'm feeling a little bit better now. I'm just, um, it's still going to be stuck in bed all day, but at least I'm not crying, so. At least right now, <laughs> so that's good. Anyway, yeah. I'll have, like I said, I'll have to see if there's anything. That I feel like maybe I'm afraid to let go of and replenish, change, something. <sighs> Until next month. <laughs> Hang in there. Don't remember it doesn't last forever. Love you.